Hello, this is Robert with Beyond 20. Today we're working in Sharewell version 5.0. We often have requests to change background colors of widgets that are displayed on dashboards. And this is based on certain criteria or certain thresholds. Um, for example, if the number of tickets that are open is greater than or equal to 10, we might want to make the dashboard widget have a red background color instead of the default, in this case, is a, is a light gray. Another example would be if the number of open tickets is zero, or maybe the number of open tickets is one, two, or three, we might want to change the background color to be green to signify that everything looks good. In this example, I'm going to set the widget here, incidents and requests owned by me. I'm going to set the background color to be red, assuming that there are 10 or more open tickets that are owned by me. One of the nice features in version 5 of Sharewell was the introduction to metrics. And this is how we're going to set a custom expression to define a different background color. To edit the dashboard, you can go ahead and right click anywhere on the screen and click Edit Dashboard. Or if you go up to the top menu, Dashboards, you can edit the dashboard that you're currently on. This opens up the Dashboard Manager and allows us to make changes to the dashboard. Here we have the widget, Incidents and Requests Owned by Me. Let's go ahead and right click on this, go to Background Color, and now here we're going to select Use Expression. We're going to create our own. One of the nice features about Sharewell version 5 is the introduction to the metrics. So we're going to go ahead and use a metric here to define the background color. If we don't already have a metric created, we could create one here. Uh, however, we will show how to create metrics in a separate video. In this case, Sharewell 5 comes out with a bunch of default metrics that you can use. So here we have my open incidents and service requests. Let's go ahead and select this metric and click OK. Now there are many different options for the value that's pulled from the metric. In this case, we want to take the current value. This current value is going to be cached locally on your machine and it's going to be updated based on the properties of that metric. Default most metrics are updated every five minutes. Let's go ahead and click OK and leave the defaults as is. And now we want to change the background color if the number of open tickets is greater than or equal to 10. Let's go ahead and select greater or equal, enter 10, and then select a red alert background color. Now, if that's not the case, we'll just go ahead and use the default background color. However, let's add one more case here. If it's less than two open tickets, maybe we we'll want to signify with a green background. So let's go ahead and click on Add New Case. As you can see, the previous metric is already selected. So here we'll go ahead and say, we'll say less than two. So this means if it is if there are no open tickets or there's one open ticket, we want to signify a nice green. Go ahead and click OK. And now that's how we set the background color. Let's go ahead and change the foreground color as well because the gray might not look good on a red or green alert color. So we'll also right click on the widget and select foreground color. And we're going to do the same thing. Use expression, custom expression, and here we have the recently used metric. So if this is greater than or equal to 10, that means we're on a green. We'll go ahead and set the color white. 
if it's less than two, that was our other situation, we're going to select a white color as well. Otherwise, we use the default color, the gray. So go ahead and click OK. And now to save those changes, we're also going to click OK on the dashboard editor down here on the bottom right. And now that we've saved the dashboard, you can see that the background color for the open tickets owned by me has changed to red. Alternatively, if we closed nine of the open tickets, and so we were down to one, or if we closed all ten, the background color would change to green, since that was a setting that we created in our expression. So thank you for watching, and this was Robert with Beyond 20.